at a moment when American parents have been arrested because they took their film to be processed at a local pharmacy, a local drugstore, and they had shot photos of their children gambling and frolicking happily in the bathtub, and they were arrested and convicted of child pornography for doing this. At a moment when three schoolgirls in New York are suspended from school for a day for saying the word vagina, while reading aloud from Eve Ensler's feminist classic, The Vagina Monologues, mind you, which is all about the vagina. At a moment when a children's novel is purged from elementary school libraries because it refers at one point passingly to a dog's scrotum. I think it's important to defend the right to think bad thoughts. I will defend to my dying breath in the teeth of religious fundamentalists, the Bible and Pitchfork Brigade, as well as their happy bedfellows on the feminist left, the anti-pornography wing of those who would powder and diaper our minds, I will defend to my dying breath the right to think bad thoughts. Acting on them is another matter altogether, but in the digital age where, as I said earlier, the membrane between the actual and the virtual is dissolving more and more, and legislation is being written to ensure that we not only do not do the bad thing, but do not think the bad thing. This seems to me to be an Orwellian moment. Let me give you an example. There is a spectacular conceptual artist in England named Heath Bunting, who found himself in the crosshairs of the legal and criminal apparatus in England because he put photos of himself as a naked child on his own website. He did this precisely to test British law, right? He put his own images online. It was himself naked, right? But he was possibly legally liable for doing that. Yet another example, stranger still, or as they say in Alice in Wonderland, curiouser and curiouser. It's now illegal in America to put entirely computer generated images of naked minors on the web, right? In other words, the digital dreams of our age, right? If they are sufficiently unpalatable to normative sensibilities cannot be put online. We have to launder the thought balloons floating over our heads. We have to police our dreams. I'm not an apologist for pedophilic imagery, but those who can't concede that there's a difference between dreaming and doing have arrived at a very perilous pass in cultural history. That's why I insist on the urgent importance of defending the right to think bad thoughts.